Hey fans, Jared Schaffern here to recap the top 10 moments at the Viero Event Center during the 2013-14 season. Another great season for Storm Hockey. We appreciate everybody's support all year and now we're going to have some fun recapping some of those exciting top moments here in Kearney. Our number 10 play came on opening night, September 28th. Tri-City Storm opened the season against the Lincoln Stars in one of the most exciting fights that you'll ever see. Steve Hayden went up against Zach Fry in a good battle. First fight of the season, Steve Hayden and Zach Fry are returning Lincoln player. Fry gets him with a right, Hayden's got a couple big shots with the left. Steve Hayden, an experienced fighter, and Hayden, a couple big shots with the right hand of Fry. Fry's trying to get a hand loose. Hayden's got the jersey over the head. Hayden is going at it right now against Fry, and Fry, couple right swings, officials. Hayden, real, this is a good battle. Hayden, another right to Fry. This is a good battle for an opening fight here. Definitely get the two teams pumped up. They're going at it right now. And now they are done. Steve Hayden gets the crowd on its feet early on. Our number nine moment came on October 30th. The Storm were facing the Waterloo Blackhawks, who ended up going on to be the Anderson Cup champion in the USHL. But Tri-City got the victory. And it was a coming out party for Christian Horn, Joel Esperance, and Dan Lebowski all united on the same line. As it's McCray moving forward to neutral ice, stopped by the storm. Here's Christian Horn. Horn, nice pass to Lebowski, he's in a free to score! What a tic tac toe play! Lesperance finishes it! So Lebowski comes in and wins a face off. Sasir, down low to Lebowski, back to Sasir, fakes on a shot, finds some space, takes a shot, deflection in! Christian Horn's first storm goal! Moved it forward for Horn, backhanded pass, and here's Lebowski's in free! Lebowski to Lesperance, he scores! Joel Lesperance, second of the game from Dan Lebowski! Early on in the season, Storm goaltender Jacob Johansson really turned heads here at the Viero Event Center and he was on his game on November 1st when the Storm faced Lincoln. Johansson had his second shutout of the season, stopping everything that came his way and that moment comes in at number 8. Cross ice pass, Humans to flex over to Lampasso. Lampasso with a shot, save, rebound, another save by Johansson. Rebound still loose, Storm getting ahead and out of the zone, a stoppage. Delay of game, covering the puck at a crease. We've got a penalty shot for Lincoln. Here's Simonson on the penalty shot. He shoots and a save, Johansson. Puck's loose in front of the crease. Chance in front. Johansson's on the floor. Big save, Johansson. It'll be Jacob Johansson's second shutout. The fans will each go home with a free donut here tonight as the Daylight Bank Shop Donut for Donuts promotion. And the Storm win 3 0. Austin Poganski had a great first season in the USHL for Tri City this year. Led the team in goal scoring. And late in the season against Sioux City, he had a highlight reel moment. Storm in a five on three shorthanded situation. Only three players on the ice. Poganski stole the puck and went the distance, finishing for a goal when the Storm were down two men. Mueller on the near side, Peon down low. Brock Boser to Mueller, far side, take it away, Poganski's got it! Poganski with a rush, it's a breakaway! Poganski, he's into the center, he's shot, he scores! Austin Poganski, a short-handed goal, and the Storm are back in it! During the first half of the season, Joel Lesperance really came into his own. Storm fans were expecting him to have a big start, and he did just that. On December 14th against the Youngstown Phantoms here on Boy Scout Day, a lot of fans in the house, almost a sellout crowd here at the Viero Event Center. Fans on their feet for an afternoon start, and Les Bronze didn't disappoint, scoring two goals and some really great performances against Youngstown for Les Bronze. Gomez and Les Bronze with it. Gomez into the near side corner. Puck comes out to the center, and Gomez leaves it for Les Bronze. He scores! Short handed goal! Joel Lesperance! 14 seconds to go. Letting off. Can't keep it in. Lesperance to the net. He scores! Lesperance! Empty net goal! Put another one on the board for Joel Lesperance and give another two points to Tri-City. 
Storm started the month of February off against the Des Moines Buccaneers. And in a game that did not have a goal during regulation or overtime, we stood tied at 0-0 going into a shootout. New Storm player Cody Milan ends up scoring the game winner to give the Storm a 1-0 win over Des Moines. And it's our number five play of the season. Fourth round of the shootout, here we go. Milan at center ice, moving in, shoots, scores! Milan wins it for the Storm and they get two points in the shootout! After making some trades with the Sioux Falls Stampede at the trading deadline, the Storm battled the Stampede just after the trades and there were some very intense games with new players on each team. But right after the trades, Tri-City did very well. Got a shootout win with Dan Lebowski scoring the winning goal. Chris Wilkie had two goals in the game as well as a goal in the shootout. But it was Lebowski's move that sealed the deal, got the win, and was a big moment here at the Viero Event Center. Lebowski with another chance to win it for Tri-City. He moves in, fakes, shoots, scores! Dan Lebowski finds the Mecca and the Storm grabs two points. They win it three to two in a five round shootout. Our number three play also comes from opening night and that shootout win against Lincoln. Fans didn't know what to expect. A brand new team in town that was just assembled and we didn't know what we were going to get from Jacob Johansson. But he turned in quite a performance. Omaha native Chris Wilkie ends up with a shootout goal to ice this one. Tri-City Storm defeats Lincoln, got off to a 1-0 start and a really good beginning of the year. Wilkie at the center of the zone, lost the puck. Here comes Lincoln, two on two. Chance, Johansson with the save. And a penalty upcoming to Tri-City. They may have called a penalty shot here. Sipanik takes the puck, moves in on Johansson, shoots, and it's saved by Johansson. Wilkie with the puck. Moves in on Bitzer with a lot of speed, shoots and scores! Chris Wilkie makes it count in the shootout. Magnum Hoff with the opportunity for Lincoln. Hoff races in, fakes, shoots, and misses! Storm win! Yo Hudson comes up big in the shootout, and Tri-City sends the fans home happy on opening night at the Vieira Event Center. Our number two play of the year came against Des Moines. Dan Lebowski scored a penalty shot goal in the waning moments to give Tri-City a victory over the Buccaneers in the second half of the season. And what a move it was by Danny Lebowski. Schmidt to the far side, now Schooneman to the center. And it's taken away by Eastman, leaves Lebowski breakaway! Lebowski, that's taken off! Nice play by Schooneman! And a penalty is called, it's a penalty shot! Ryan Ruck will be the net miner for Des Moines. Trying to keep this thing tied. Lebowski on the penalty shot here in a tie game. He's got the puck moving towards Ruck. He fakes, shoots, and scores! Dan Lebowski on the power the uh, penalty shot goal has given the Storm a 3-2 to two lead. Lebowski pumping up the call. What a move to beat Ruck! Our number one moment of the season here at the Viero Event Center came on December 13th against the Youngstown Phantoms. Joel Esperance was coming off a four goal performance in Cedar Rapids back on December 7th. Fans were excited to see him here in action at the Viero Event Center and he didn't disappoint. Scored two goals in regulation against Youngstown. The game ended up being tied 5-5. Going into overtime and in the extra frame, L'Esperance got the third goal of the night, the hat trick goal for the win. Tri-City gets the win over Youngstown 6-5. Bukowski takes the shot, missed the net wide right. Rebound down low to Sear. He picks it back up, top of the right circle. Down low, L'Esperance shot, missed the net. No shot, score! Joel L'Esperance ties it at one. His 14th of the season. Storm penalty kill is 11th in the league at 82%. Here they come shorthanded. Gomez for L'Esperance, he scores! L'Esperance continues his tear. Scores a shorthanded goal to put the Storm ahead 2-1. Two 2-1-1 one. Two on one for the Storm. Christian Horde to the net. L'Esperance scores! Joel L'Esperance ends the game with a hat trick. And Tri-City wins it. 
29 seconds in overtime. Those are the top 10 moments from this season at the Vieira Event Center. I want to thank everyone once again for tuning in and supporting the Tri-City Storm all season. Looking forward to a very productive, successful offseason and be back on the ice in the fall of 2014.